Joining us now is Thomas Hamezero. He worked as Cosby's attorney before being fired back in 2018. Thanks for your, uh, your time, sir. We appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. I just want to kind of give the Cliff Notes version here, as reported by the Washington Post today. Basically, they said that a, a district attorney, Bruce Castor, induced Cosby into making incriminating comments in a civil case by promising him that his statements would not be used in a parallel criminal case. However, a different prosecutor, Kevin Steele, broke that deal and did indeed use those comments to prosecute him a violation of Cosby's Fifth Amendment rights against self-incrimination. Uh, the court decided today that Steele was obligated to stand by that prior agreement. Is that your understanding as well? And what was your reaction when you got the news today? Well, first of all, I was his lead trial counsel in the trial. I know what went on in that courtroom from start to finish. And it was the most unfair trial of my career. Bill Cosby always said he was innocent. He refused to budge, even, even when told that he could get out of prison early if he would express remorse and take a few courses. He refused. He said, I'm innocent and I'm not going to admit to something I haven't done. So I know what went on in that courtroom. I know how unfair that trial was. And to have a district attorney with the power of that prosecuting office make a binding agreement and then have the next district attorney suspend that agreement, throw it out the door and act like it didn't exist was a total travesty of justice. The trial judge did not give him a fair trial. The case should not have been brought to trial at all. The agreement should have been enforced. There was a statute of limitations issue that the trial judge refused to have any kind of hearing on. The trial judge led in witness testimony that was completely unfair and unwarranted. It was a travesty of justice. And today, as we speak this very moment, Bill Cosby has no conviction, no conviction whatsoever. He cannot be retried on this case. He's home with his family. It's a great day for justice, and it's a great day for the Cosby family. That agreement in question, though, according to public reporting today, was uh, a verbal agreement, nothing in writing. That seems awfully casual for something of such consequence. I've had prosecutors throughout my career come to me and say, we're not going to prosecute, or we'll take a deal of this sort, or we'd like this thing to be resolved in a civil court. It's not unusual at all. And when the district attorney of this county goes under oath and testifies, I made a binding agreement that he wouldn't be prosecuted, that should be enforced. And thank God for the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. These are judges with integrity, with conviction, with intelligence. They know what they're doing, and they brought justice into that courtroom where there hadn't been any before. Sir, do you agree with the idea that a, a technicality or a procedural issue is different than actual innocence? I think you don't know what really happened, to be honest, if you ask a question like that, because if you look deeply into the agreement, the agreement was made by the prior district attorney because he didn't think he had a strong case against Mr. Cosby. So that whole agreement was based on the fact that this may not be a prosecutable case. So to say that this is just a technicality is to try and split hairs and try and find the meaning you want. Mr. Cosby has never been convicted of a crime. He's free. He can't be prosecuted again. It's a victory for Mr. Cosby. Sixty women have accused him of sexual harassment or assault. Do you believe they're all lying? How many of those women made their allegations and how, how many allegations resulted in criminal cases? That's how I respond to that. I'm not going to comment on any of the accusers. It's a free country. They can say what they want. I can believe what I want. And I don't believe he's, a, he's the criminal that they're making him out to be. And he doesn't have any criminal conviction as we speak today. Ms. Mesro, thank you for your time. We appreciate it.